All right, YouTube. Hello. Thank you for watching. I like to do videos that kind of hope can be helpful to people. So, um, with that in mind, if anybody out there is thinking about getting into chemistry and, and uh, setting up a chemistry lab or something like that, if you've done any research and looked for exhaust fans or blowers, chances are you were probably pretty frustrated with the results. Spent a lot of time even at Granger itself, and really this here was about the only viable option. These are sold on Amazon. They were being sold by four to five different people under four or five different names on Amazon. And then about a month and a half ago, they pulled all these fans off of Amazon for whatever reason, I don't know. They stayed off for a couple weeks, and then all of a sudden they put them on, apparently like the full stock that they had left, but they put them on under one name or one seller. So... Why they did that, I don't know, but anyway, long story short, these started out at 259 went to 239 and then they dropped to 199 So these are supposed to be 10 inches in and 10 inches out on the ducts. Nine and three quarter, nine and five eighths roughly. I'm not sure how that's going to be compatible with uh, residential flexible ducking, but you know I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. According to the rating on this, it's 2,300 cubic meters per hour, so 1,353 CFM, which is a pretty significant amount of uh, air movement. So kind of what kind of caught me off guard with this at first look, because impression is everything, is the blower wheel only takes up roughly half the width of the uh, enclosure which struck me as a little odd. So kind of what they did is just funneled it in to make up the difference. Good or bad or what have you. Now there was nothing in the information and that's usually the case why I like to do videos because nowadays it seems you don't get technical information when you buy stuff and that's the first place I go to. There was nothing in the uh, information that denoted this as a multi-speed fan which was kind of a downfall, but actually this is a multi-speed fan according to the winding diagram on the motor. According to this, the black is low, the blue is medium, and the red is hot, coming back to the yellow, which has a thermal switch in the motor as they should, hopefully self-resetting thermal switch. It's got a 20 microfarad motor start cap, so the full load amps is 3.5, at 110 volts. The motor is actually slightly larger than what I really expected on it. Somehow they welded these seams. They're not cemented. That's actually a weld of the plastic itself. It almost looks like. Either that or they have a, a machine, a hot machine, that extrudes the same polypropylene, supposedly. Kind of like a bead of caulking. Not sure how they do that. So there's a 20 mic cap. There's your ground. There's your hot. And um, there's your speed control. So black, blue, red. Here's your line coming in. And then you tie black, blue, or red. Uh, <clears throat> high, medium, and low to the other side of your 110 line. And there's your ground. Yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it there. You know, for 199 bucks, I mean, honestly, like I said, I looked and I looked, and there just isn't a lot of options out there without getting into a metallic enclosure. So, hope this video helps somebody. Hopefully, these continue to stay on Amazon. I don't know if they will or not. It's always nice when something stays on that way. You can go buy another one, buy a backup, which is usually the best thing to do. Never buy one of something. Always buy two of it. That's my general rule of thumb. So anyway, in conclusion, hey, I appreciate you watching my video today very much. Uh, take care and have yourself a great day.